Anthony Edwards is drawing Michael Jordan comparisons and undeniably resembling Team USA's top dog. Austin Reeves is translating his conference finals performance against Denver where he averaged 21 and 5 over to the national game as he dropped a loud 16 points in this one. Tyrese Halliburton dropped three triples in the span of two minutes late in the third quarter, fueling a 16-3 run, combining with Reeves for 32 points in total off the bench. Reigning DPOY Jaron Jackson Jr. was a shot-blocking phenom, finishing with six swats and bothering plenty more that he didn't get a piece of. Triple J was fiercely locked in, an absolute man on a mission in terms of protecting the rim. The Americans trailed by nine with under seven minutes left, and by as many as 16 at one point, but forced the Germans into eight consecutive misses and went on an 18-0 fourth quarter run. Despite newest Toronto Raptor Dennis Schroeder going off to combine with the Wagner brothers and Moe and Moritz for 47 points, all five starters for Germany scoring in double figures, and holding a seemingly insurmountable advantage, the fact that USA was able to mount such a comeback displays their collective ability to overcome adversity. Showing out in Dubai in what was the final game of the USA Showcase, entering the World Cup after going undefeated in the exhibitions, the Americans have found their identity as the bench vibes make this team resemble one that's been together for way longer than merely 17 days. The storyline in my last USA video was this team not having a true superstar. I may be in the process of being proved wrong about that, however. Steve Kerr spoke on the 34-point domination from Anthony Edwards against the Germans, saying, quote, He's unquestionably that guy. He knows it. Now the rest of the team knows it. End quote. Ant not only scored a game high by far 34, but he was a game high in plus minus by far at plus 37. Edwards went down holding his ankle early in the fourth, but given how he and the squad closed it out, thankfully it doesn't seem like a serious injury. In the fourth quarter alone, Minnesota's young phenom out of Georgia dropped 14 points, which equaled the Germans' total as a team in that frame. Anthony's clutch buckets featured a triple to tie the game with just over five minutes left and a trip to the line plus a mid-ranger a few minutes later to put the game out of reach. How will he perform under pressure when these games actually matter in the group stage and beyond is the question for Anthony. With that said, from spotting up for deep range bombs, to flying in for beastly posterizations, to getting downhill through multiple defenders in traffic for saucy reversals, to pulling up with fluidity from either beyond or within the arc with ease, Edwards has clearly taken a massive step forward in his development this summer. Watch the shiftiness, tight handle, body control, and elusiveness to reject the screen from Jackson Jr. by spinning in the opposite direction of Triple J's screen, and how he fakes the in-between pull-up with the slightest in-and-out dribble before sweeping through Tice and soaring off his left foot for the two-handed hammer. Whether it's straight line drives with his offhand, backing down with finesse from the post, or stepping back over switched on to a mismatches, everything in Ant's bag is looking incredibly polished, and he looks comfortable utilizing everything in said repertoire. You can see why the comparisons to MJ have become a thing when he takes Schroeder into the post, Dennis does a perfect job of contesting, yet Ant has the poise and hang time to double clutch and knock it down. With Anthony's combination of perimeter shooting, ball handling skills, feel for the game, speed off the dribble, and naturally gifted athleticism which features a 41-inch vertical jump, this is right now forcing defenders of opposing countries in the World Cup to pick their poison. It's up to them whether it's going to be a pull-up slash step-back three slash mid-range shot or a blow-by to the paint. Stopping Ant, however, isn't. Edwards led the team in scoring in four of five exhibitions and posted a scoring average of 18.8 .8 points per game in them. When Ant is brought up, you hear so much about his beastly jumping ability, and rightfully so, but his body control, strength, finesse, and offensive wherewithal to read the space between he and his matchup can go unnoticed. Edwards has such a knack for scoping out the driving angle and utilizing his muscle to attack the angle effectively. When it comes to that type of craftiness, that's what Austin Reeves bases his entire bag around. Reeves has one of the toughest to gauge momentum crossovers in basketball and may not have the athleticism like Edwards, but he's got just as if not a quicker first step. There's been skepticism about whether or not Reeves has the ability to adequately fill out the Lakers starting point guard position next season, but those questions may have been answered by the fact that he's established himself as one of the most important players 
on a team filled with elite guards from 2022-23. For example, in terms of minutes played, Austin has moved ahead of New York Knicks 24 point per game scorer Jalen Brunson in USA's rotation. While Brunson is still the starting PG, Reeves consistently has gotten more minutes than a player who was all-star caliber for New York last season. What you love about Reeves is that he's fundamentally sound, plays within himself, and doesn't force it too much. He's a great vocal and body language leader with little to no ego, and basketball-wise, the man is a foul-drawing mastermind who thrives off embracing, sometimes selling contact, any chance he gets. Something that's proved to be true for my last Team USA video is the fact that Reeves thrives off playing next to Tyrese Halliburton in the backcourt. Halley earned his own upload during the 2022-23 season where I noted that his deep range shooting off the dribble and length give him as much potential as any other backcourt player in the game. Against Germany, Tyrese was a team's second best plus 17 and scored 11 points in under 3 minutes, which was the most important stretch of the Americans' blistering comeback effort. Halliburton's strides to get downhill take up an intimidating slash unstoppable amount of ground for opponents, and he's also an impulsive creator out on the perimeter who knows exactly when to step back for deep range bombs with elite footwork. Tyrese has one of the best moving jab steps in the game, he's an extremely talented passer with range plus subtlety, and his repertoire is topped off by the fact that he's an elite defender. At a massive for a point guard 6'5 with a 6'8 wingspan, Halley's reactivity combined with that length makes him utterly bothersome on this end of the court, and that was a primary reason he was chosen to play for his country. Team USA is in Group C for the World Cup next to Greece, Jordan, and New Zealand. They begin play on August 26th in the Philippines, which is the site of all three of their group stage games. To advance to the second round, they have to finish in the top two of this group. I'm not sure whether or not this next point is concerning or encouraging or not, but the Americans have yet to get in a rhythm where they're consistently or really ever, for that matter, executing advanced play sets. They could definitely use some more reps working on executing more advanced motion, but at the same time, it bodes well for them that they have more than enough effective pick and roll slash isolation creators who've thus far been able to make up for that. Also, they did have a moment or two against Germany where they ran some more unpredictable advanced motion. This double chase Spain action, where Portis sets the pin down for Reeves, then fakes the off-ball for Halliburton before setting the on-ball for Reeves, was a staple in the Warriors playbook to get Thompson open looks last season. Edwards acts as the one in this fade read action, swinging it to Brunson who comes off the Jackson flare. Brunson angles off his man, boomerangs it back to Edwards, Jackson sets a second screen, this time an on-ball, allowing Anthony to get downhill. So there's potential for this Warrior coached offense to fully kick in. Practice over this next Practice. week should help. We just haven't seen a ton of it quite yet. Alas, until next time, this was your boy D Flow, and I'll see you next video.